Hey, it's Garrick and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I make videos on modifying my Tesla Model Y, reviewing Tesla tech, and of course, cell phone accessories. In this video today, it's gonna be part two of my Tesla transformation. Now, if you missed part one, that's okay. You can actually check out that video right up here. Please hit subscribe and the notification bell. You don't wanna miss out on my future videos on my Tesla transformation. We're gonna be installing the powered sunshade by Hancho. I've done a lot of videos in the past when it comes to sunshades, and to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with them. I'm super excited to install the powered sunshade from Hancho because it's gonna add a good amount of convenience, not only to me, but also to my wife. And the reason why I say that is I have two little kids that whine and complain that they either want the sunshade closed or they want it open. This sunshade, not only you can open it and close it from the front, but you can also do it in the rear, adding that added convenience. All right, everybody, let's go hop to the car, let's get this installed, and let's check it out. Now it's time to unbox the Hancho powered sunshade. As you can see, this is a big box. The reason for the big box, the sunshade is actually one piece. Being that it comes in one piece, there'll be no folds in the liner. To make it easier, I have the box sitting upside down on a set of folding sole horses. I took my folding utility knife and cut through the packaging tip. Since my wife was not available at the moment, I opened the box upside down. When doing this, just be careful when lifting the box. You don't want anything falling out. As you can see here, there's plenty of protection that protects the sunshade. Great job, Hancho. The sunshade comes in one piece. There are open and close buttons on both front and rear, which will add a lot of convenience for us. Let's go over what's included. Warranty and instruction cards, power cord, sunshade front bracket, which has felt-like material on the top of the mountain bracket to protect your roof, Phillips screwdriver, trim removal tool, screws, and a long felt to hide the mounting bracket. Time to install the power cable. We're going to tap into the rear power socket. First, pull the liner out a bit and you can grab the rear power connector you see here. Disconnect the connection and daisy chain the power cable that Hancho provided with the kit. Time to run the power wire into the sunshade area. First, tuck the connection back inside and run the power cable underneath the upper trunk panel. Be sure to lift the weather seal molding to help you slide the cable in. You can use a fiberglass fishing cable to snake the power cable through, but I was able to fish it through with my hands. It's tight, but doable. But I highly suggest in using a fishing cable. As you can see here, the wire is hanging on the top here. After you snake the cable through, just be sure to tuck everything back when you're done. Now we're going to insert the front brackets for the sunshade. Two things I suggest. One, have someone help you and wear a pair of gloves. You don't want to dirty or stain the headliner before you install it. Now we can take the plastic bag off the sunshade. Then we would have to flip and install the sunshade. Slowly slide the sunshade into the Tesla. Be sure to have the rear seats down as it makes it easier. There are three brackets, one on each side and one next to the motor in the rear of the sunshade. Next, you want to take the cable and connect it to the power cable that I fished earlier through the headliner. I have my wife holding the front of the sunshade as I'm installing the rear part of the sunshade. You are sliding the three brackets between the headliner and the glass roof. The brackets do have the same felt-like material as the front brackets. For the front sunshade installation, I have my wife holding the rear sunshade so it won't pop out. You have to push the sunshade up and line up the bracket and the screw hole on the sunshade. Take the screw and screw it in. You are to do the same with the driver's side as well. As you can see on the top, you can see the metal bracket when sitting in the back. Hancho has provided a long black strip with 3M tape on the back. You can add the strip to hide the metal bracket. Wow, look at how well this looks. It really matches well with the OEM headliner without sacrificing space. As you can see, it slides really well without any hiccups. You can also stop the sunshade by pressing the button. You can have it partially open when you need it. Pretty cool if you're interested in getting a set. I will have the link and my discount code in my description below. Not only you can use the discount code for the sunshade, you can use it for any accessory in Hancho. Guys, what do you think about this? Awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce? Yep. Okay. Well, what if you want to open it? How would you open it? 
Press uh, that button. You press this button over here? Yeah. Yep. I what? think you have to break the oh, card over and here. then put it. Why don't you press the button? Wow, can I do it next? Yeah, you uh. can do it next. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is convenient for you guys? Yes. yes. I think it's very convenient. I don't have to ask you. I can just press it now. There you go. Yeah, so look like at night. We can put it on so we can watch the stars. That is correct. That is correct. Like this, looking at trees. Hey, block the way. Now you can take a look at the stars. You can take a look at the sky. All right, everybody. This sunshade is pretty rock solid if you really think about it. It's literally seamless. It feels like it's part of the car as it is already. It looks really nice. It's really sharp. I'm not losing a lot of headspace at all. So this is actually a really, really good sunshade from Hancho. And this is definitely a great modification that I highly suggest if you want to have something a little bit automatic. I hope you all liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me ask, actually, actually, hold on. Let me ask my kids. What do you guys think? Very it's good. awesome. Would you guys give me one thumbs up or you give me two thumbs up? Million thumbs up. Million thumbs one up. Thumb I hope you all give me a million thumbs up, just like how my kids said it. But if you all have any questions, you have any uh, comments, please leave that comment below. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for the support. And if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to click on subscribe and the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on future modification videos. And on top of that, you don't want to miss out on these kids who will be popping in the videos from time to time. All right, everybody. Be safe. I'll catch you on the road.